Welcome to the Memorizing Pharmacology podcast. I'm Tony Guerra, the pharmacist and author of the Memorizing Pharmacology book series, bringing you mnemonics, cases, and advice for succeeding in pharmacology. Sign up for the email list at memorizingpharm.com to get your free suffixes cheat sheet or find our mobile-friendly, self-paced online pharmacology review course at residency.teachable.com forward slash p forward slash mobile. Let's get started with the show. Hey, welcome to the Emerging Pharmacology Podcast. I just wanted to go over a quick uh, mnemonic set for you uh, for the vaccination schedule. So we're going to start with birth, uh, B for hep B, and the mnemonics are up at the top and the actual vaccines are down at the bottom. Um, Then we want to be Dr. Hip at two months. Okay, that's hep B, DTaP, rotavirus, haemophilus influenza, inactivated polio virus vaccine, and pneumococcal conjugate vaccine. And then at four months, we're just Dr. Hip, no B for Hep B. Uh, so DTaP, rotavirus, Hib, IPV, PCV. And then six months, we want to be Dr. Hip again. And that IN from again is for the influenza virus that we're going to start uh, that vaccine at six months. Then 12 months, I have an HP monitor view. Literally, this is, these are HP monitors or Hewlett Packard monitors. So it goes from Hep B to Hep A. Then we're also going to still have our Hib, our PCV, and now we're going to add MMR and varicella. So an HP monitor view at 12 months. Then from 5 to 8 a.m., that's kind of dawn. So we keep our DTAP. And then from four to six years, we have dusk. So around four to 6 p.m. starts to get, uh, the sun starts to go down, a little bit tougher to see. And so it's a bit dim. So D-I-M for DTAP, IPV, and MMR, and then view for varicella. At 11 to 12 years, we have Tdap. And the important thing is that you kind of think of tada because, which is how you would say it, but <clears throat> the key is to get from DTAP to TDAP and know that 11 to 12 is when we make that change. Uh, papilloma, there's two L's in the middle that looks like an 11, and then meningococcal uh, 12 is when you become an adult or men. When you look at the back of, for example, a Motrin liquid, you see that it only goes up to 11. And so when you're talking about dosing something like that, that's when uh, you start using these adult doses. And then at 16 year old, men get kind of a boost uh, and that's the next booster for meningococcal. And then there's some kind of goofy ones at 19 years with Tdap. Uh, That's really, if you're an adult, you've never had tetanus before, uh, 19 and over, you definitely want to do that. And then in pregnancy, to prevent whooping cough, it reduces it by like 78% for someone that's under uh, two months. Um, you're going to do 27 to 36 months. Now, how do you remember that? Well, the reason I put them together is that it makes up one, two, three here. So 19 years for that adult, 27 to 36 months uh, for someone who's pregnant. And then the 20 to 7 to 36, how do you remember that? Well, it's two, three going up and seven, six going down. So hopefully that's helpful uh, to see uh, the vaccine schedule mnemonic in four minutes or less.